guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to do some DIY I don't know if you have seen on my other video when I mentioned about me trying to refinish this chairs and then the uh, the table the base of the table for our uh, the breakfast nook area and I am going to use a chalk paint for that so if you want to see how I do it stay tuned and uh, watch the video I have here four chairs this is like in light cream color it was it has wax before and um, it has a lot of detailing to it but it's really getting looking gross already so I decided to paint it clean it I used my gloves of course and then this one takes away all the shininess and I also use this rag remove the cushion because I want to uh, recover them this is the fabric that I chose to use um, I'm going to recover them later so here are the tools that I'll be um, using for painting the chair this is the um, the chalk paint. I ordered this online because they don't have it at Home Depot or Lowe's. And this is the chiffon cream color. And then this is the, the top coat to protect it, um, the chalk paint. And then I had uh, the brush. And then this is the fabric. Um, and then this is the one I used to clean the chairs and the pedestal use the uh, Phillips screw for removing all the the cushion those cushion and then this one I will put this around um, the chair like a decorative um, um, part of it like this one this is what I'm trying to achieve for uh, this uh, nail heads and then this is I already have this I didn't have to buy it this is me my staple gun and then scissors to cut the fabric later and then I have the shop towel um, so if I need if I messed up and I need to um, wipe anything um, I'll use this one this is what it looks like a shop bath towel and then um, like I said I already pre cleaned this I remove all the shininess and then now it's ready to paint and I put this one here so that I don't have to dirty up the floor now I am ready to paint Okay, I'm done with the first um, first coat and it actually it has a good coverage. I'm gonna have to sand it a little bit on um, just to even out the paint and then I'll do the second coat. But I have to stop because we are going to eat dinner and then we are watching The Walking Dead. So that's our Sunday guilty press pressure sunday guilty pleasure i just tested it on here it actually smooth some parts i don't have to um kind of sand it tomorrow again is a continuation and um i'll show you when it finish hi guys good morning
Hi guys, a good morning. Today is day two and I have my gloves on because I am going to finally put the protective finish to all these chairs that I have painted with uh, chalk paint uh, yesterday. I wasn't able to do it yesterday because um, we gotten busy, we went out in the afternoon and today is the perfect day to do it because um, it is nice and sunny. I think we are in the 70s today which is relatively so much hotter than the other day. So this is what I'll be using. This is my poly acrylic min wax. Uh, it's in clear satin to protect the chair. And then I'll be using this foam brushes. I got this off Michaels and they're different sizes which is perfect on those spots that I need a smaller uh, foam foam brush. Very important that you you need a well ventilated area. So right here in our patio is perfect. It will dry faster because we are in our 70s today. That's why I waited till today instead of doing it yesterday. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. 